As benchmark indices head lower due to rising global headwinds, stock-specific opportunity amid Q3 results is helping investors trim losses. So far, the December quarter results have largely been positive for the street with majority of the companies including Infosys, TCS, HDFC Bank, Bajaj Finance and Metro Brands posting better than expected earnings growth. And now, all eyes will be on the earnings report card of index major Reliance Industries, which is scheduled to report its results tomorrow. Global brokerage Morgan Stanley expects the two hours, refining and retail to drive the earnings in Q3, with demand and margin surprises likely in both these segments. For the quarter, the brokerage projects a 9% quarter-on-quarter earnings growth, driven mostly by improvement in gasoline and diesel margins. This will be further supported by retail demand in jewellery, electronics and grocery, for which RIL has already reported positive surprises. Overall, the brokerage expects consolidated EBITDA to rise by 8.5% quarter-on-quarter and 28.5% year-on-year at 27,722.6 crore rupees. This would be driven by oil to chemicals EBITDA growth of 10% quarter on quarter, telecom growth of 2% quarter on quarter, and retail growth of 35% year on year. Back home, analysts at MK Global peg EBITDA growth at 37% year on year and 14% quarter on quarter, while net profit is seen at 16,138 crore rupees, up 23% year on year and 18% quarter on quarter. On a standalone basis, analysts expect RIL's EBITDA to increase anywhere between 12 to 15%. Standalone net profit, on the other hand, is seen at 9,906.6 crore rupees, up 13% year on year and over 7% quarter on quarter. The stock of Mukesh Ambani led company has advanced over 6% year to date on the bourses and analysts expect it to rise another 17%, up to 2,955 rupees apiece over the next one year. This will be triggered by a combination of higher chemical margins, details on the new energy vertical, and new partnerships in key segments. As regards Thursday's session, global headwinds and weekly FNO expiry will likely keep the indices choppy through the day. The frontline Sensex index has tumbled over 1200 points in two days and stands at 60,099 level. The Nifty 50, meanwhile, has broken below the 18,000 mark and is at 17,938. On the earnings front, over 40 companies, including Asian Paints, Bajaj Finserve, Biocon, and HUL, are scheduled to report their results today. Among the lot, Hindustan Unilever is likely to clock year-on-year -year revenue growth of 9-12% on account of price hikes taken in recent quarters. Analysts, however, expect its volume growth to be flat. Moreover, analysts expect nearly 200 basis points year-on-year -year fall in the company's gross margins due to high commodity inflation. Stock-specific action, initial public offer of AGS Transact Technologies, and news flow around the Omicron variant of COVID-19 will be the other key triggers. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.